Right. Okay. There is a tip, and it's a juicy one. And I'm not giving it away that easy. You gotta watch the video. It's in there. Yeah. And now we'll see what you can do. And uh, if you've got anything in you, I shall be able to bring it out. Huh? Oh, yes, my course has been most successful in bringing the best out in my pupils. Mind, uh, would you sit on the sofa because... Window cleaner you would be if you can see what I can see. When I'm cleaning windows, honeymoon in couples too. You should see them villain coo, you'd be surprised at things they do. When I'm cleaning windows, in my profession I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blanket ladder till I get... Teenagers are weird, aren't they? In bride, she looks divine, the bridegroom he is doing fine. I'd rather have his job than mine. When I'm cleaning windows... Right, here we go then. It's what you've all been waiting for. Right, one of the things we do as, as I think, as, as well as human beings, let alone photographers, is that we label everything. Okay, we, lab we label objects in life, we label locations, we label people. As soon as we do that, we put a label on something, well, it stops us from exploring. It stops us from seeing beyond that surface level. So what you can begin to do is ask yourself a question when you're out shooting all of the time. Ask this question, what is it I'm not seeing now? And that's a great little pointer, like a little trigger to start investigating. This is not a thought thing. It's not an intellectual um, endeavor. Just a question alone is enough. What is it I'm not seeing here? And when you ask that question, you begin to practice that. You're gonna see, you're gonna be, you'll start, you'll start uncovering layers. In situations and scenarios, whether you're shooting um, documentary photography, street portraits, where, whatever it is. And eventually you won't even have to ask the question, it'll become like second nature. Become your stance. That's the tip, guys. Yeah, I heard, um... Come on, get in. 